What's going on everyone? Got a 2020 Subaru Outback. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the key fob battery. Um, if your Subaru actually uh, remote looks like this, this applies to you also. It doesn't have to be the Subaru Outback, okay? All right, so if we look at the key fob, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna flip it over and there's an emergency key in the bottom of the remote, all right? This emergency key is the one that unlocks the doors if you wanna open the door up. Um, but there's a button right here that we're gonna push and then we can pull the emergency key out, okay? And this slides right out. Now, we're gonna keep the remote um, with the buttons facing down. And if we look inside of here, let's see if I can get the light to show up in here. The very top hole is for the emergency key. We are gonna use the next hole down, okay? That's right here in the middle. And uh, there's a hole here and there's a hole that's like kind of like this way. But we want this one, okay, this, this one right here. What we're gonna do is use a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna push it into this slot, all right? When we push it in there, it kinda gets stuck like that, all right? Once it's kinda stuck, not very far, it just needs to get stuck. You just need to feel like it's stuck. Then we're gonna hold on to the remote and we're gonna keep our thumbs like right here. We don't wanna hold this because this part is actually gonna pop up. We're gonna just pry this up a little bit you can see how it cracks open like that. And we can take the cover off. And hold the remote like this. And here's our battery right here. All right. I'm going to put my thumb kind of on it, battery a little bit since I'm in the car. I'm going to pry this guy out and I want it to fall down into the underneath the seat or something like that. So I'm going to keep my thumb on it. I'm just going to pry it a little bit. All right, let's see how it kind of just fell out. You gotta be kind of careful. This is also loose too. There's nothing really holding this in, so you wanna keep your thumb here. And once this comes out, the buttons will get all loose and things like that. So you wanna kind of keep your hands on it, all right? I'll show you what size the battery is. If you know, Obviously you're changing the battery in this. And the battery size is gonna be a CR2032. And you can see right here where it says Panasonic, right above it, there's a positive sign. That's gonna be facing us when we put the new battery back in here, okay? We just place it back in here, top side first, and we'll just push it in and it'll kind of just click right in like that. Now, if you need one of these batteries, if you check the description box in this video, okay, look down there, there'll be a link that takes you to Amazon, which will get you a replacement battery if you need one, okay? Make it nice and simple and easy, and get it like in two days, okay? Maybe even same day. Um, uh, then you just get your back half of the remote, stick it over the top of it like this. And all we're going to do is push down on it. We're going to start at the top of the remote. This is the top of the remote. Push and then push. You hear it all kind of snap together. Make sure everything's nice and even. And then get the emergency key. And we're going to just stick it right back in here. All right. And it should lock in nice and good if you put everything back together. And that's it. You're all done. Well, I really appreciate you coming and watching my video. Hope it was helpful. And if it was, I'd appreciate it if you drop me a like uh, or leave me a comment. Um, I hope to see you again in another video.